Roosevelt community needs were many. There were needs for recreation spaces, or needs for educational spaces, and needs for passive as well as active spaces. It's a multicultural, multi-ethnic community, and meeting all of those needs was very important to us. If you came to the old Roosevelt Center, you would have seen a place that we refer to as the bunker. It had no exterior light coming into the building and it was very sheltered and hidden and not an inviting place. If you come to the new Roosevelt Community Center, it is a cornerstone in the community. If you look at Malcolm Gladwell's tipping point, this is the building that is the tipping point for this community. We are bringing groups of people together. We have a pocket of our community that is very affluent, um, often corporate executives, professors from the local university that live just a block away. And two blocks over we have um, group homes and we have apartment complexes. So we're trying to develop a new sense of community and as the center is the hub of that. So it is our place of bringing people, cultures of all backgrounds and races and abilities and disabilities together to feel that this is theirs and their home. The new Roosevelt Community Center directly responds to the community's shared goals, needs, and challenges, as well as to its diverse social, cultural, and geographic characteristics. In working with the community, three of the most important project goals that were developed for this project were how the building was sited in the park that allowed visibility and access to the park from the facility as well as from the street. A second project goal was to provide a facility that would support multiple programs for the community, um, which primarily supported developing better community health. The third project goal was actually a goal that we saw as a great opportunity, an opportunity to design a building that would act as a catalyst for the revitalization of this neighborhood. We have the teen, after school teen program, so teenagers aren't out on the street. I think that's fantastic. The workout center, the, the gym, is so well-priced and state-of-the-art equipment and also the uh, community room where they can have their events and it, it's just fantastic. This is Gloria Enos. She is our number one customer. She was the first person to sign up uh, for the fitness room when we had our memberships and she comes in almost every day and uses the cardio equipment and a little bit of the weightlifting equipment and we're glad to have her. The new center directly responds to community needs with flexible spaces that support a wide range of activities and programs. Major features include a large multi-purpose room for civic, cultural, and community events, a dance room, a cafe, Teen Center, art and game rooms, early childhood recreation classrooms, and a fitness center. The new Roosevelt Community Center is designed to tread lightly on the earth, from the individual materials of which it is made to the impact it will have on the environment as it serves the community into the future. The center targets gold certification through the U.S. Green Building Council's LEED program. The design maximizes open space in Roosevelt Park. It uses a former brownfield site and it provides excellent access by bicycle and public transit. Stormwater is collected, filtered, and detained on site in bioswales and through pervious paving. Energy efficiency was very important to this community, and so the design team created a very highly insulated uh, building shell. The exterior walls and the roof system are, have a lot of insulation, and the result of that is that the building is 44% more efficient than the California Energy Code requires. I'm impressed with the architecture, with, with the green, the greenness of the building, how when I walk into the room, the lights turn on, and when I um, walk out of the room, the lights turn off. Materials are durable, low maintenance, and locally manufactured. Wood is from certified sustainable forests. Interior finishes have low volatile organic compounds and high recycled content. Site irrigation is automatically controlled and uses 100% reclaimed water. 
Plumbing fixtures inside the center include metered faucets and dual control low water toilets. The new Roosevelt Community Center respects the community's need to receive full value from the funds used to build it to the funds needed to operate it. Construction was funded through the Safe Neighborhood Parks and Recreation Bond passed by San Jose voters in 2000. Ongoing operational costs will be offset in part by revenue generated from facility rentals and sales at the cafe. The center is highly efficient to operate. The reception desk provides excellent visibility of building entrances and major circulation areas. Portions of the building can be easily closed during low use times to reduce the need for staff supervision. Because we're an inner city community, we have to have lots of eyes and we don't have enough staff to have eyes everywhere. So we have a system that allows us to surveil the building internally and externally and making it safe for our participants. We've done finishes in the building that allow us to maintain it because we don't have the staff and the maintenance to do what we want to do. So they're all things that can be maintained pretty much with water and soap that we can um, keep the building clean and fresh and looking good. Uh, we have lots of natural light in the building that allows us not to use um, a lot of power, so it makes it much more energy efficient to operate. More than just another public building, the new Roosevelt Community Center is a celebration of the neighborhood, a beautiful new thread in the urban fabric, and an exciting focal point for community identity and pride. When we brought the uh, design to the community, their response was terrific. It was really what we always hoped for uh, because they were able to see from their feedback from the first stages things that they wanted to see evident in our initial design concepts. The feedback from them was one of just sort of enthusiastic participation because they could see their design in our design. There was definitely some standout elements that we heard from the community they wanted to see. Uh, some of them are more overt in the design, and that has to do with sort of simplicity in the, in the role of color. Um, that's the powerful element. Art was also something very important to them, and we really kind of went to great lengths to integrate art throughout the building. And then flexibility. Uh, the community wanted to be, a whole, to be able to do a lot of different things, and so in each of the er different areas, whether it be the early child education area, or the teen area upstairs, or even the large multi-purpose room, we've got the capacity to do lots of different events, and they were very excited about that. Significant artworks are integrated into the design of the center. The artist for this project designed her sculpture pieces to filter rainwater from the roof and clean it before the rainwater entered Coyote Creek and San Francisco Bay. And you can see one of these pieces right back here. And so the design team worked with the artist to channel roof water to the art pieces. Through a feedback process, I picked two artists. One was uh, Jackie Bruckner, who's a landscape artist who did some environmentally oriented pieces, one on the north side, one on the south. And the other artist was actually a local fellow named Skate Martinez, who's we refer to him as a reformed graffiti artist, but he's really become a real a powerful artist in his own right. And he's done a number of large scale installations here in the building, one of which is directly behind me. The new Roosevelt Community Center reflects the vision, hard work, and shared commitment of many people, including city leadership, staff, and community members. The Roosevelt Community Center is a reflection of the collaborative effort of this entire community, from the city council to the participants in the community workshop. Group 4 Architecture would like to thank all of you who have assisted us in this project. This building was done by a multitude of people, from the folks who participated in the community process and all the different groups of people who came to say, this is what I want, to the surveys that were done, to the city personnel that were engaged and involved from multiple departments, from the architect, to the builders, to the subcontractors. This was not a one-person thing. If there was ever anything that we did right with this building was the collaborations that were done. Um, there was truly a sense of team and we in the design of this building, so thank you to all who participated. We couldn't have done it without you. The City of San Jose and the Group 4 Project team would like to thank the many community members who participated in meetings, workshops, and focus groups. 